What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're going to go over a quick overview in Power World on breeding. Now we're going to go over the very basics of breeding here, how you can breed, what you can breed, how you unlock breeding, all of that stuff. Um, as I was talking to someone about doing this video earlier today, they actually linked me to a really cool calculator made by someone called Kimpton on Discord, which is based on a Reddit user, Blahable, I think, Google Doc. I've not linked to it too much, I just put the information in for the two parents I was breeding, but basically what this lets you do is figure out how you can breed certain pals from other pals and what happens if you breed two pals together. So I'm not going to go into the more advanced stuff. This is just something you can get into if you want to avoid the spoilers. So unlocking the ability to breed pals is actually a simple thing. All you've got to do is level up and get the appropriate technology. Once you've got the breeding farm, you can put that down and you've pretty much got everything you need to breed. You need to put two animals in, so two pals. Um, the species don't matter. You can mix and match anything. You just need one male, one female. As far as I can tell, the gender doesn't matter. The traits that you pass, which we'll get into in a minute, doesn't have any effect on gender at all. So just put a male and a female in and they will make an egg. It will always be the same egg. So if you put in two of the same species, the exact same pal, you will get a baby pal of those two. Or the same pal, really. If you put in, say, these two here, they will make the same pal every time. So I was breeding um, my wolf pal. I'm so bad with the names on this. Have I got them in my inventory? I don't think I do, do I? So yeah, die out. I was breeding that with a small Pokemon I had that had the Lucky Perk and stuff like that. So I was trying to breed that across. So these are all from them. So these are all going to be exactly the same pal. So these are all going to be Lunaris. So that was pretty lucky there. So that's what I was going for down there. I got Lucky, Artisan and Sirius. I was not expecting that at all. So this is where the breeding really comes into play because you can make some crazy good pals, both as combat pals and as worker pals so different abilities and different perks you want on different types of pals so we'll get into all of that in just a second so once you've got your two pals in your breeding pen you are going to need to make some cake cake is relatively easy to make it's just long if you're looking for the ingredients honey and whatnot we've got a guide for that most of the ingredients you can just buy cash isn't an issue head to this location at the small settlement sell all your unwanted pals you'll get 100k before long and cash is no longer a problem you can buy most of the ingredients for cakes if you put the cakes in the, ba the barrel basket thing next to the box barrel basket it's clearly a box smith if you put the cake in here um this doesn't it doesn't rot away it stays someone in our comments said that so thanks to that for you if you're watching this video so you put your cake in you guys are breeding you're going to get the same egg every time now the read the breeding is so good because it allows you to have a chance at creating pals that are just incredible so this is what i was going for i wanted to get lucky now lucky is a particular trait that you get off of shiny pokemon or rare pokemon you can see this guy here if you look at the name above the top there, Diahow in the top left, you can see the little star icon, the two little diamonds. That's a shiny or a rare pal. This one gives plus 15 work speed and plus 15 attack. I'm sure there's better passive skills. This is what I've got so far. I'm only about level 38. I'm not very far into the end game stuff yet. So what I wanted to do was breed him with a different pal that had Artisan and Sirius on it to get pretty much what this one turned into. So it's got work speed plus 50%. Attack speed plus 15%, work speed plus 50%, and then work speed plus 20%. So that's 50, 75, 90% increase in work speed for a handiwork level 3 pal. Now, the reason I wanted that was because right now we've got a lot of lines going for ammo. You know, we're building um, ammo all the time. We're building balls all the time. So I wanted to put all that together into a single pal and then try and make as many of those as I can. Now, there are ways, as I said, the advanced breeding calculator that I'm going to put in the pinned comment down below. Make sure you check that out. There's some fantastic work there for community, way more than I ever would have understood. The maths there is beyond me. But that's the sort of core basics. Remember, you can breed anything other than humans. So humans you can't breed. You can capture humans in power balls. You can't breed them because they have no gender. Let me show you here real quick. So I've got a few people, um, including an innocent that I just stole from a random town. They all have the same thing. They have the one hand perk. So nothing too special. So just remember that any power can be bred with any power that I've seen so far. The gender doesn't matter. The perks that they get, the traits, seem to be random. You can pass all the ones on. You also seem to be able to get random ones interjected into it. So it may take you four, five, six, seven, eight tries to get the one you want. Um, so far, I've had a bit of a mixed bag. I got that one first try. That was very lucky. The other three weren't as good. Um, and I've probably done about 25 eggs of another combo and still haven't got the one I wanted. So it is a bit wild. Um, but it's a really good way of sort of just increasing the efficiency of everything in your base. You know, you can get, for example, these guys here, I caught about 40 of these trying to get the perfect miner. I didn't find a single positive trait. If you use that calculator that I'll put down, you'll be able to find out what you can breed with something else to put a positive trait and make one of these. So 
It's a really simple system that works. You can just throw people in there and they breed. But if you want to get into the more advanced levels of it, there's now a community tool that will help you do that. So make sure you check that out. So there you guys, nice and quick, nice and easy. Get winning, get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. We do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.